In the previous video we used the base W175 to modify it into a cafe racer. In this second video we want to convert it into a scrambler. Starting again with the base bike, we first have to remove several components again. Same as before, we remove the original mirrors, the front turn signals, the headlight, as well as the entire rear fender, which also includes the license plate holder, tail light, and the rear turn signals. Next, we remove the front fender and the original seat. And finally, for now, we remove the original muffler as well as the instruments and instrument brackets. Now it's time to start with the modifications and putting the bike back together to convert it into a scrambler. In the first modification, we shorten the front headlight bracket to fit a smaller custom headlight. Next, we reinstall a new headlight, in this case a 7-inch classic matte black mesh headlight, with a yellow lens. Instead of the original instruments, we use a single one from Moto Gadget, the MST Vintage Speedometer. For the front turn signal replacements, we use the Moto Gadget MO Blaze Disc Black Bar and LED Indicator. And to replace the original mirrors, we use the Moto Gadget MO View Cafe mirrors. For the seat, we use an aftermarket one from Cafe Racer Web Shop with a Braun upholstery. But there are pretty much endless other options available online. Time to make some color modifications. The original tank gets painted in a copper base paint that creates a green patina theme look and gets covered by a clear coat. We also remove the model logos on the side panels and modify the side panels on both sides with adding three meshed air intakes. In the next step, we replace the original rear fender we used before with a new, enduro style, high mounted and shorter, black rear fender. And we also add a new vintage LED brake and taillight on top of the fender. Instead of the original muffler, we install a custom shorter, matte black side muffler. The original tires are replaced with Bridgestone Batlax Adventure Cross Axe 41, which also provide a bigger profile. In the next step, we install a higher and smaller more motocross style front fender. And to match the rest of the bike a little better, we paint the inside of the front disc in black as well. Some of the 2023 models have that already. Next, we wrap the front part of the exhaust system with black exhaust tape. And finally, we install a black painted skid plate and side guards to protect the engine. This concludes today's design ideas and modifications of a Kawasaki W175 into a scrambler. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.